Coming up this week, we have a special episode. This is our 50th episode, and why not shoot it with a special car? We're gonna take a look at this beautiful 2002 Tom Henry SS Camaro, and this is a rare car, one of 32 only made. That's what we got coming up. I'm Jay Walker, watch the Life Off Road, right here on Jet Up Motorsports. Welcome to another episode of Life Off-Road. Thanks again for hitting that play button, folks. And remember to go to my YouTube channel, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. The car we're featuring this week is a very special car, being that it's our 50th episode. So why not do a special episode with a special car? This right here is a Tom Henry Camaro SS. Now you're wondering, well, who the heck is Tom Henry? Well, Tom Henry was a dealership up in Pennsylvania that, um, specialized in a couple of muscle cars and whatnot. And this particular model here was built by a company called GMMG, which was a company based out of here in Marietta, Georgia. And in the early 2000s, they built roughly around 500 Camaros and Trans Ams, and they really suited them up. And they worked with a few dealerships across the country. And Tom Henry was one of those dealerships. They actually did some dealerships with uh, Carl Black here in Marietta, uh, Dale Earnhardt Chevrolet, uh, they built 100 cars for him. I believe they built 50 cars for Carl Black, the Trans Ams, the Blackbirds, um, Burgess Chevrolet. They had a, quite a few, and they were all individually numbered. This car here is number 10 out of the 32 they actually built for Tom Henry. I believe Burgess Chevrolet had like 100 cars. Dale Earnhardt had 100 cars and the whole nine. But it's a very fascinating story about GMMG because when you see one of these cars in the early 2000s, these weren't just any regular Camaros. I mean, these were all suited up from 380 horsepower all the way up to 680 horsepower, all naturally aspirated. It was no superchargers. I mean, they would basically redo the whole engine, tweak the suspension, the whole nine. Each car was individually badged and numbered, so it was an official car. You could tell when you look at some of the details of the car, you could tell it's really an authentic car. But I came across this car, I was out on vacation last week and I was doing some home improvements around the house and I happened to go to my local Home Depot and I saw this car out in the parking lot and I was like, hmm, that car looks very interesting. And as I got up closer to it, I saw the Tom Henry window header and I saw it number 10. I was like, whoa, this is a GMMG car. I gotta find out who owns this car. So I walked inside and talked to my lumber department. He's like, yeah, that belongs to a guy down in appliance. And Walk down and talk to the guy, and I want to bring that guy here right now because this is his baby. Let's bring in Steve. Steve, how are you, my friend? How you doing, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. Now, how long have you had this bad boy? Since 2004. 2004. And, and what was the uh, the backstory on as far as what like what made you pick up this particular one? I just never saw one before. Yeah. yeah it's very rare because I was, I was quite shocked when I had um, saw it in the parking lot. I mean, it just... These cars really just stand out alone by themselves. I mean, they were excellently done. And a lot of people don't know how very rare and collectibles these cars is. And I had probably seen, I've never seen a Tom Henry in person. I've seen an Intimidator SS and a couple of the Berger cars, but I've never seen a Tom Henry car. So I was quite shocked that I just happened to see it <laughs> in my side of town. Like, whoa, whose car is this? Man. So about roughly how many miles do you have on this thing? Uh, just turned 14,000. 14,000. 14, Original 000. miles. Wow, wow, wow. That's, that's good mileage. And um, everything was pretty much stock. You haven't done anything else. No modifications really. whatsoever. No modifications. It's all fully stock. So since 2004, so are you you're the first owner, second owner? Or what, what? Uh, second owner. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I bought the vehicle in Reno at the Hot August Nights in 2004 from the original owner. Wow, popular auction, okay, yeah. And he, uh, but at that time, how many miles won it when you, when you purchased it back uh, then? About 3,200. 30, <laughs> wow, man, it was just sipping. I believe this color here is probably, is this the only convertible in this particular color? As or? far as we know, that's the only one that's ever been done. Wow. It's a sunset orange Sunset's convertible orange six speed. Six speed, which I love, folks. I mean, this is a, a special car, because I believe all 32, I believe, he had a handful of automatics that he built for Tom Henry. I believe a few of them were, were six speeds. Now, I think he only built maybe three for 2001. I believe the rest of them. Most of them were automatics. Yeah, that's what I figured. 
That's what I figured. That's kind of what caught my eye. Yeah. Let's pop the hood and uh, take a look at underneath the engine because I really want to show y'all this this uh, particular engine is LS. I'm sure it's LS power. So let's let's take a look at the engine. All right, so folks. So we got the hood up and I believe this is a LS6 block. I remember um, these originally started out as LS ones, and then when GMMG got their hands on it, they, I think they redid the heads and probably tweaked the cam because I believe most of these engines stock wise were coming out about 305, 325 horsepower. And then they bumped these all the way up to around 380, 400 foot pounds of torque. So it's very strong car, 10 to 1 compression ratio. I mean, it was it was it was a beast. And each of these cars were individually stamped by GMMG. They always stamped the block. And actually, Tom, Mr. Tom Henry actually signed Steve's car, which is cool. You go to a few car shows, you see some of these. I've seen Matt Murphy's autograph, Tom Henry, and a few other people that have actually signed the, underneath the hood of the car. But um, like I said, it's a very special car, folks. I believe these came with the 373 gears. Um, I believe they did tweak the suspension as far as um, drivability. And again, this is a six-speed, so it does uh, get out the box. I believe they lowered all the cars too, maybe an inch and a half, inch and a quarter. So it was very nice, very nice. How often do you get to drive this thing? It's my daily driver. <laughs> wow. Unfortunately, I have to park it at Home Depot in the parking lot. <laughs> kind of makes me nervous. <laughs> but it's not, it's not quite a bad daily driver. You get to drive to work every day in a nice hot rod. I mean, especially with this color. This is one of the prettiest colors I've seen in this car, man. The sunset orange metallic. I mean, it's such a, a pretty car, you know. And I'm sure it sounds good going down the road. So I believe this exhaust was the chambered exhaust that GMMG put on all of these cars and give it kind of an old school muscle car sound. So I'm sure yes, sir. when you wind it out, you hear that later on in the video, folks. I mean, it really, it sounds amazing. But uh, let's walk back here towards the uh, interior. Like I said, it left all the interior pretty much stock. I remember they did individually number the, the cars, like I said, with number 10 on the windshield. GMMG had a stamp that they numbered the vehicle right there. That's how you know it's an official car that's legit. Like I said, this is the 35th anniversary as well, because this is 2002 model, so. But nice clean interior, top is down. I think I'm ready to go for a ride. I'm tired of standing around. Hey, let's, stop ride? let's stop talking, let's go for let's a ride. Let's go, let's go for a ride. All right, let's fire this bad boy up. Man, starts right up. Man, this is a treat, Steve. I, I, I really appreciate you letting us do this. Man, I love these cars. This thing handles like you can. Yeah, I know it does. It's tight, boy. Yeah. They did all that, man. They basically built a street raceable car with GMMG did with all yep. these cars. I mean, they really did an excellent job. kind of like when they stopped producing the Camaros and Firebirds back in 20, 2002. Yep. And they, they came out with these. I was like, man, everybody wanted to get their hands on one of these. But, oh yeah. People were gobbling them up. Because like I said, the only dealership here was selling them was Carl Black and they was doing the Blackbirds. Yeah. Trans Ams, they only built 50 of those. I think they built like 25 of the, the yellow yep. Trans Am. Oh yeah. Collector editions and that was it. That was it. All right, here we go. We're yeah. in the Tom Henry SS folks and this is a treat, man. Beautiful, humid day here in the A, but it's not bad, we'll make out. Got my main man we'll Steve. We'll be alright. Yeah. This is his beauty, man, and can't help but have the top down on a beautiful day like today, man. Like I said, GMMG, they really they 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 was on to something building these cars, man. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, when I saw Dale Earnhardt jumped in the midst because he he demanded that he wanted a hundred of these built. Yep. And Tom Henry and Berger and everyone else jumped, joined the mix. And like I said, I knew where that warehouse was. I had been there a couple of times. All right. And it was, like I said, very secluded, but it was building. It was so secret. It yeah. was a plain looking barn 
sure. bike warehouse and they had a incognito fence and you you like what's going on in there? They didn't even have a sign saying what it yep. was. It just had the address and some other business name, but you go inside and that's where you saw all the magic, man. It was amazing to see. You just saw all these cars just parked out back and they was all of them painted, numbered. Oh, some yeah. of them had the They was going to work, man, and I said, man, hopefully uh, one day I can try to get my hand on one of these. You've never driven one of these? No, it's my first time. Holy First smoke. time driving a GMMG car, yeah. Holy. Yeah, yeah, it's my first time. I've driven plenty of SS's. My Z28, yeah. I have a 98 Z28, and yeah. I was gonna buy a, um, a 2001 SS a while back, but I got such a good deal on my Z28. Yeah. And like I said, back then when I was looking for one of these, they, I mean, they were expensive. Yeah. I mean, they didn't collect the cars, so they was just, yep. it was hard to get your hands on one of them. If you did, you was going to pay this should, out yeah. the yin game mm -hmm. for them. Oh, yeah. But I was like, hopefully one day, like I was telling you before, I saw they had an Intimidated SS somewhere in Chicago. I believe it's car mm -hmm. number seven. Yeah. And it's... I think it's probably on his second owner, but yeah. I believe this particular car dealership has it. I think they want like 60 grand for it, but I'm like... Yeah, oh. that that's just... It's too much, to be yeah. honest with you. And I was like, man... And, and, and then it's a hard top. It's, it don't even have the T-tops. No, yeah, the, no, see, it's just a hard top, yeah. yeah. Most of the cars I noticed were just hard tops that he... Yeah, a lot of those were, I believe, they made a few T-tops. Yep. I know Dale did not want a car number 13. Yeah. So I think Matt Murphy actually built himself a car number 13, a convertible for himself. Okay. It's the only convertible that Intimidated SS, kind of like this. Okay. That's out. But I see uh, you're in fourth gear. Yeah, I, I see shift, shift. Yeah, second and third. <laughs> yeah, my car used to have that if I was only going so fast. The skip shift came in these cars, folks. It was trying to help save on gas. Because I believe these cars had, you could get almost 30 miles to the gallon on the highway. Absolutely. In sixth gear, you yeah. can. Yeah, it was um, it was a rare thing. I mean, you, you wouldn't burn any, hardly any fuel at all. Probably no fuel, but that was their thing, you know. And, of course, six gear is your, your cruise gear. They drive... Excellent, Steve. Yes. I mean, it's, <laughs> you can tell the way it sits, the car feels tight. But I mean, it's this thing is built to go around the racetrack. Yep. They are so these the fourth generation cars, F bodies are so fun, man. That's why it's kind of hard for me to get rid of mine. So I've still got oh, a yeah. lot of work to to get it back going. No, this one's tight. I'll tell you. Yeah, man. And all these had the white gauges, the dashboard in here. You know, whatever dealership. I see Tom Henry's got his name yep. on his. The white gauges. We're right at 14,000 miles. Like you said, low car. Even broke it's not in. even broken yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. This is how it was, folks. You know, GMMG built these cars. You know, a testament to the old school. Have the old school power. I mean, it was it was always something, man. They handled excellent. It didn't even matter if it was convertible or T-top top or hard top. I mean, these cars were built to run. And on top of that, getting get good fuel mileage. Is that particular auction y'all went to, that's real big? 
where you, where you got the yeah, car? Hot August nights, yeah. Yeah. It's been going forever. Yeah. Then we used to go to Barrett Jackson too. Yeah. Oh yeah. One of these days I'm gonna try to get out there to Barrett Jackson to see. Check that out. I wanna try to meek them out too. Yep. In my opinion, I think this really put, and people, a lot of the Ford guys are probably going to get mad when I say this, but when the Cobras came out, the, the Terminators in 2003, 2004, yeah. I believe that was their answer to these, these yeah. particular cars. Sure. Because most of the Cobras were pumping out roughly 325 horsepower, yeah. and they really, really couldn't compete with the, the F bodies. And I believe that was probably the reason why they went ahead and slapped the supercharger, but yeah. they couldn't really compete with these at, well, they, a, at a drag strip. No. And those are some strong cars, but oh, yeah. they just didn't have the torque. No. The LS motor, you just, you just, it, it was no contest. You know, a 373 out of a convertible, that's, that's unheard of. Yeah. I mean, that is unheard of. Visibility was always pretty good out of here, even out with the hood scoop up front. I mean, oh, yeah. it was, you could see the whole nine. No, I'm glad you finally got to drive one. Man, yeah. after all these years. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, <laughs> I just, I just stood and just, you know, watched and envy. Cause like I said, once, once the mid 2000s came, you hardly ever saw these cars yeah. anymore. And like I said, this is my first time seeing a Tom Henry. I saw, like I said, all the other ones, but but yeah, I was I, I always wanted the convertible SS. Yep. And then when I started looking, I couldn't hardly I could find them, but they was all in automatics or mm -hmm. they had a, a boatload of miles. You know, you read, you never saw these. No. Nope. You you might. That's what, that's why me and my dad. That's why we bought it. Yeah. Yeah, you never saw these. You might occasionally come up on an Intimidator or yeah. a Blackbird. Never these, never convertible, never stick. And usually they're white or black. Yeah, this <laughs> color, like, you never saw none of that, so. No. I'm like, man, they just. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. I know that sounds yeah. cheesy. But He's like, what? I, there's no way that's a Tom Henry car. Yep. You know, I'm like, man, that just that just doesn't happen. That does not happen. So you tracked this thing one time, or how, how many have you actually? Uh, have I what now? Have you ever took it to the track, or just got loose? Nope, with just it? the one time. Just that one time. Yeah. I'm sure that was a lot of fun. That was a. Uh, Slalom race, you know? Yeah. So you probably don't do a lot of car shows. No. I drive it nine miles to Home Depot and nine miles back. Yeah. And then once in a while I go to Creekside to cast a line in the pond there. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. Yeah, a car like this, man, I just... I had my Z28 rolling out, just take the tops off and just ride around. Yeah. Man, you, you know, even I just had nothing to do, just ride around, ride downtown, ride, you know. Yep. Just something everywhere, just get out and just ride, man, because he was so... These cars are so much fun. And oh yeah. 
very relaxed. It's a good, good road trip car. I mean, you could probably try to stay in California. You, sti you stick it in six gear, you got good mileage. Oh, yeah, just cruise. Yeah. You put the cruise control on, you're going. Yeah. No, it's just cruises. I mean, it's just... You get a lot of people trying, you're trying to race. When they All the time. <laughs> It stays low to the ground, just centered. I mean, it's <laughs> and the convertible, that's why I was so blown away when they did convertibles in some of these cars. I was yep. like, yeah, that's what you want, man. Just old school some car, man. Just oh, yeah. Brings the full perspective yeah. of the muscle car era. It's really a, a big testament to it. Drop it in the fourth. Drop it in the fourth and hit it. They don't take much. No, it then it's got good torque. It does. It really does. Yeah. I like this old school. I like the way this sounds because oh yeah. This is true power. It is. It's true classic. Like I said, you don't get the, you know, some of the supercharger wines or yeah. whatnot. I mean, but I'm saying this here, it's different. It is. This is like takes you back a long it does. time. It really does. They're so, like I said, man, they're so fun to drive. These cars are so fun to drive. Well, that's it for this week. I want to thank my good buddy Steve for allowing us to drive. This this is unbelievable, folks. I mean, y'all just do not understand how privileged and how special this car is, especially for the 50th episode. You know, go out with a bang. But it's an amazing car. You know, these GMMG cars were gems. And if you can ever get your hands on one of them, like I'm, as soon as we're done with this, I'm gonna go home, get on my iPad, See if I can find one, because I want one of these so bad. They're such a rare car. Let me give a quick shout out to my newest subscribers. We have a uh, Steve Joseph, also George Williams, got a Tam Thai, Clarence Buffalo, and Dwayne Vincent. Thank you guys so much for newly subscribing, and thank you to my current subscribers. Appreciate you guys spreading the word, and we're really trying to grow this thing. Also, uh, go to my website, jdubmotorsports.com, or use some t-shirts. Got uh, hoodies, tumblers. It's getting hot out here. You know, summer's approaching, so they help you keep you cool and whatnot. And um, shout out to a few people over in Australia. I was checking my website and I noticed I had a couple of people that have been kind of pinging me over in Australia. So shout out to you guys. And I uh, also want to thank my help, my son Juwan and his buddy Kyle. They were my chase driver and camera guys today. You can follow them on their Instagram at Jedoc Juwan underscore dw j e d d o c dot l l c is his instagram cows is no outlet photos at instagram and uh follow me at jw motorsports we're gonna get on out of here though that's all i have and uh, we see you guys next time later